Hello folks, it's Rob aka Maximum RD uh, back again. This time with something a little different. First of all, your as you view this uh, image, I let you know that uh, my camcorder is now mounted on a tripod. So that's great. <laughs> I picked up a tripod for like 10 bucks. I had no excuse, it was 10 bucks. So I picked up a tripod. So now most of you, uh, or some of you who are uh, getting a little nauseous from all the movement of my videos, uh, you can all relax now and enjoy a nice stable picture. So anyways, what I wanted to talk to you about was 3D. Um, 3D is something that I've always been fascinated by. Whether it was the old B-movies like from the 50s to uh, comic books and posters, all kinds of media that you could get uh, in 3D. And for the most part, like there's obviously been a lot of different techniques to 3D over the years. Um, there, there's been specials on television uh, that used like these type of polarized lenses like that. They're basically, uh, they look like a, like a gray tinted lens. And then there's these ones where they look almost the same, but basically it's a very dark gray lens and then a, a light light lens that almost almost doesn't appear uh, it's just a little darker than normal um, but the 3d that I'm referring to specifically and probably the one that most of you know uh, are most uh, acquainted with especially the older folks among you would be uh, what's known as a let's see here uh, anaglyph 3d where you have these uh, a red and blue lens that's what you're working with and the media that you're looking at, whether it's a uh, movie or uh, image, picture, or uh, what have you, will also have um, uh, red and blue colorization added to it to create that three-dimensional effect. So I've always been into it. I, I love it. I'm just totally fascinated by, by it, especially not so much the like it doesn't so much pop out at you like although they always advertise it as jumping right out at you i don't find that to be the interesting part of it what i find to be the interesting part of it is just the depth it creates in the image um as if you could you know put your hand into it you know you're you're in the third dimension kind of like looking out a window you know you see everything has depth to it so i've always been fascinated by it i i, th I think it's really cool and I've collected several glasses over the years, whether it's from magazines I bought. Uh, I remember buying a uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue that had some 3D <laughs> effects. Um, but also comics, uh, uh, magazines, and like I said, I've, I've posters, and I've gone to movies, old schlocky B-type movies, uh, House of Wax in 3D, that also incorporated that type of anaglyph uh, 3D red and blue type 3D. Um, if you don't have these type of glasses, you can order them online. Simply uh, Google uh, anaglyph, that's uh, A-N-A-G-L-Y-P-H, uh, 3D glasses, or even just 3D glasses by, and you're sure to find all kinds of places where you can order them from online, uh, pretty cheap they're quite cheap to get a hold of. Now the reason I'm suggesting this um, is uh, currently there's three uh, methods to enjoy this uh, classic type of 3D effect. Now if you happen to have an NVIDIA graphics card and you've got the latest uh, drivers for it, um, you can go into the NVIDIA control panel <clears throat> and if your card is compatible you can enable Anaglyph 3D. Now the drivers were really created for uh, NVIDIA's own 3D system where you where the electronic <coughs> LCD shutter type glasses, um, you know, that's like a $300 system. But as a bonus, and uh, in my opinion, a, a great free bonus, you can just uh, enable regular uh, or old style uh, anaglyph 3D and uh, use these glasses and load up your game and uh, with a keyboard 
shortcut that you either use by default or specify yourself, suddenly the red and blue uh, enhancement is added to the video game. Throw on your glasses and you're playing in 3D. Now, I've done it with games from uh, uh, um, Silent Hill 2 to Half-Life 2. Uh, I just enabled it in uh, Clive Barker's um, Call of Cthulhu. Um, it's just cool. <laughs> it's really neat. It you know, adds that extra depth to your game and uh, kind of livens the games. Maybe you've already beaten them and uh, you know, played them through a few times. This kind of gives you uh, something new to look forward to in some of your older games. But anyway, uh, with that said, I will include links for everything, uh, uh, including uh, uh, NVIDIA, so you can get more information on that. Uh, the other uh, options are, and this is uh, my main reason for making this video, you can actually get free software that turns any digital image into this type of 3D. Uh, I'll give you the link to that. You can download it. It's absolutely free very simple to use there is a, a guide to it but it's it's as simple as loading up the image you uh, load the left image you load the right image you uh, make your selection on the type of 3d that you want to create and you click make 3d and then you just fine-tune it with a few adjustments save you now have your image in 3d uh, include some very simple uh, uh, versions uh, that I've done myself with my own uh, photographs. Um, oh, and the other one is, uh, now this, this one costs money, but there's uh, a 3D webcam you can get now. I think it's it's by a company called, I think it's Minoro or Minoro or something like that. Minoro, something. Uh, but anyways, I'll include a link for that. Now, that webcam is about $100, but uh, it's a 3D webcam. And for 100 bucks, I mean, you know, I think that's that's pretty reasonable now to be to be able to create videos, uh, you know, in this type of 3D format. I mean, that was unheard of, you know, two, three, four years ago. So uh, yeah, those are your three options: webcam 3D, uh, 3D turning your own uh, photographs into 3D, or enabling your NVIDIA card and playing games in 3D. So uh, yeah, check it out. I'll include all the links. Uh, I've just been enjoying it so much that I. Thought I'd share it with you all, and uh, let me let me know what you think. And if you create some uh, 3D images, you know, make a video or <coughs> um, you know, share them with other folks. And uh, that's it. Okay, so I'll talk to you later, and I'll look forward to very steady videos from now on <laughs> with my new tripod. Talk to you later.